Let's break it down. Although I don't think it takes an engineer to know that this down here is not right. Well, it's clear that the studs are compromised with that conduit down the base penetrating through all of them. As we know, there's plenty of wires, conduit, and other things in homes behind our drywall that need to penetrate through these studs. So how big of a hole is permitted and who permits it? That would be the IBC or the International Building Code. That's for commercial structures or the IRC, the International Residential Code for, you guessed it, residential structures. They tell you how big of a hole you are permitted to do without needing to call an engineer every time you need to, you know, install a wire for your TV. However, if you have something custom and you need a hole that's bigger than the allowances permitted by the IBC, that is when you need to engage an engineer and they need to create something custom. Typically, you want to follow the one third rule. The diameter of your hole should be no more than one third the width of your face of your board. And that penetration should be located within the middle third of the width of your board as well. Just from the one third rule, we can see that their penetration is too large and it's not located in the middle third. But hey, at least they got APA rated sheathing.